triple C. Hi, Mr. Hi, Mr. How are you today? I'm good. How is, mm. how is life? How is your life? Better? So-so. Yeah. So-so. Are you stressed? Yeah. Yes. To make decisions? Mm, no, yet. But you are stressed for the decisions that you need mm -hmm. to take, yes? Yeah, it's difficult, right? And what do you want to do? I don't know. Hmm. Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> How old are you, Jose? Uh, 34. 34, okay, you're young. Young, but not so young. Mm. Yeah, like in the middle, right? I know, man. Today I, I check in the page of visa. Yes. But uh, mm, it's just uh, it's the next year, February. Oh, oh my God. The the appointment. La cita, yes, the true. appointment. Okay. Uh, yes. And what is the other option? You told me about another option. Yes, maybe uh, in in Hermosillo, but I don't know. But what company is it? Um, it's CFA. Oh, okay. But uh in this company need go to the Zacatecas and Oaxaca or I don't know. Okay, okay. It's difficult. It is difficult. It's a difficult decision, yes. I'm very sorry. But you know, opportunities are good. Yeah. 
crisis is equal to opportunities. <laughs> and another option is, is my, my, can you say negocio? My business. My business. My business. Maybe a barbershop, I don't know. Did you save money? Yes. Ah, okay. So it's possible to open your business. Yes. And are you are you passionate about your business? You like your business? Yeah. Yes, I like. That could do could the hair? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, because I mean a business you I like it. Okay. Well, maybe, maybe it's a good option, man. Open your fucking business. Yeah. I, I'm scared a little. Yeah, but, but uh, sorry, man. Uh, There's no time to be scared. Mm. It's difficult. You know, businesses are difficult. Yes. But companies are not secure anymore. Yes. But my business is it's good for me. Yeah. Like because a barbershop is good money, right? Yeah, like that. You know, like uh maquila stuff. Something like that. <laughs> yeah. But I need to go to um, um, curso. When is a curso? Mm, yeah, uh, a course, course. A course. A little. Poquito. Yeah, because you know, right? Yes. Okay. Maybe that could yeah. uh, a bird. Yeah. Um, okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you need to get prepared, of course. Yeah. <laughs> Caleb, hello. Hello. How are you, man? Uh, good. Great. Only you and Jose? I don't know what happened. Jackie, Jacqueline, Octavio, Mr. Albert, Nayeli, oh my gosh. Nayeli, I don't, I don't remember Nayeli. <laughs> Who is Nayeli? I don't know. Okay, let's get to work. Clase privada, chicos, nice. <laughs> Possessive pronouns, okay. Um, we, you remember you remember this, right? Okay. Yesterday we practice possessive adjectives. What are the possessive adjectives? What are the examples of possessive adjectives? You remember from yesterday? It's my, my, your, yes, your, is her is hair is, okay it's for we our 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 and there and there there you go Nayeli is here hi Nayeli <laughs> estamos hablando de ti Nayeli hi teacher how are how are you Nayeli Good. Good. Excellent. All right. So this is the one of today. Possessive pronouns. Okie dokie. Possessive pronouns. Yes. So, so let's go with the information. Possessive pronouns. Here we go. <coughs> okay. I'm going to start with you, Mr. Caleb. Can you help me to read, please? 
uh, we can use a possessive pronoun instead mm -hmm. of a full loan paraphrase to avoid repaying. There you go. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, man. This one right here, instead, is going to be equal to in replace. In replace. Hay echo, verdad? Hello? Okay. No? No? Okay. So, instead is in replace. Look at this example. I want combo number one. I want combo number one. Imagine you are in McDonald's, okay? Okay. I want combo number one, but instead of price, I want a salad. Ooh. Instead of. Making sense, Nayeli? In replace of. ¿Qué dice ahí? Como yo lo, como lo entiendo. Ajá. Quiero el como número uno, pero podría ser en lugar de, de papas, quiero ensalada. Ahí está. Instead of, in replace, okay? In replace. You got it. So that's what we're going to do. We are going to use in replace of something. For example, look at the possessive pronouns in here. Mine, pronunciation, guys. Mine, mine. Mine. Mine, let me hear you. Mine. Yours. 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 His is equal than yesterday. His. His. And it's hers, hers. Hers. Excellent. It's equal, but with S. And this one is ours. 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 And theirs. 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 All right. Very nice. So look at the example now. Your house is blue. My house is red. Making sense? Your house is blue. My house is red. What are we repeating? What are we repeating? My. Hmm? My. But what are we repeating in this sentence? This one, right? Uh, yes. House. house. House, house. That's the repetition, correct? Okay. okay. Yeah. Repetition is not good, right? Okay. My, your house is blue, my house is red. Okay, so in this case, my house <clears throat> is going to be equal <clears throat> to mine. mine. Okay. Mine, my what? House. My house, my house right? Okay. So we are eliminating the repetition. Okie dokie. Okay. Your house is blue. Mine is red. My house. What if I wanted to say um, he house. La casa de él. Tu casa sí. es azul? La casa de él? His house. His house. No, like, his. Solo his. 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 His is blue. His is blue. Are. His is or blue. are. Is because it's the house. Only one. Okay. All right. Let's get more info. Can you help me, Najeli, to read, please? Um, example. My car is blue and your is red. Yours equal your car. Your phone is new. Mine is all, mine equal, mine, my phone. Mm -hmm. You got it. Look at this one. This is very interesting. My car is blue 
and your car is red. Okay, look at this one. The object that is repeated, right? We are going to eliminate it and put an S. Make sense? Mi carro es azul. ¿Qué dice ahí? Y... Y el tuyo es rojo. El tuyo. Y ahí ponemos el tuyo. El, el what? Un carro. The car. There you go. You got it. Okay. Look at the examples. Can you help me, Mr. Caleb, with the instructions, please, man? Um, read the sentence given, rewrite it, change the underline. Uh, word for a, uh, I can see pronouns, a uh, pronouns. Pronouns, exactly. Example, Caleb. I can, I can okay. see. Don't worry. Your car is black and white. My car is only... Your car is black and white. Mine is only blue. It's only blue. Making sense? Yeah. Your car is black and white. Mine. Mine is representing my car. All right. So let's see, Mr. Jose, can you help me with number one? <clears throat> Identify what is repeating. What is repeating? Your, your house. House, house, right? Okay. My house is main. My house is on Main Avenue. Yours is in Lincoln Boulevard. My house is on Main Avenue. Yeah, yours. Yours. The, very, the S is representing yeah. the object, right? Yes. Very, very good. Yours, yours. is on, on Lincoln Boulevard. All right. Caleb, number two, what is repeating? Mother. Mother, help me. Uh, my mother is nice. Your, yours is nice. Nice. Is, is, yours? is, is yours? Is yours? Is yours nice? Is yours nice? Como, es la tuya agradable? Yeah. No? Yeah. Nayeli, what are you repeating? Uh, computer. Computer. All right. And you are using my... Mm. Is my... Yeah. Give me everything. Can I use... Your computer, my... Does work well? Yeah, mine doesn't work. Does work well. There you go. Make sense, guys. <clears throat> Let's see, Mr. Jose, number four. What is repeating? My English class. My English class is easy and fun. Yours is difficult. Yep, my English class is easy and fun. Yours, Yo. very good. The, the S is representing what, Jose? English class. English class. Oh, yeah. We don't repeat it. Yours is difficult. All right, Caleb. You're going to help me with five. His job is her, here's fun and relaxing. 
His job is hard. Cares, very good. Is fun and relaxing. So, Caleb, this S is representing what? The yeah. at least the the job. Oh. Yeah. Right, the job. Okay, and number six, Nayeli. Oh, by the way, not the verbs, right? The objects, we are replacing the objects, right? Um, my brother's hair, hair is black. What? Mm -hmm. yeah, my mom. Coming. Uh -huh. My brother's hair is black. Mm, my mom and my dad. Ajá. Uh -huh. Aquí tenemos que reemplazar este, ¿no? They are Todo eso. Sí, porque es el, el cabello de ellos. Right? Ah, uh, ok. Entonces tendría que ser my? theirs. Theirs. Ah, theirs. Theirs is blonde. Blond. So we are replacing <laughs> the hair, right? The hair mm -hmm. of day in this case. Mm -hmm. Number six, Jose. Let me check. Oh. Si quedó claro, Nayeli, ese, sorry, man. Si quedó claro. Sí. Sí, ah, ok. Sorry. Sorry, José. Do you cook your food? Um... Uh, ma... Is this one right? I, I usually. Yes, I usually mine. Yes, mine. I usually, cook. I usually what? I usually cook. I usually cook what? Mine. Mine. No, my, my food. Uh huh. Mine is representing my food. Okay. Right. It's something like this, right? Mice that doesn't exist. Okay. We change to mine in this case. Like for example, if you say hers, eh, yours, eh, what else? Theirs, we have the S, right? But in two, in two, we don't change. Which ones? His. Huh? Well, his. And his is the same that, that the class from yesterday, right? Because it's impossible to put another S, right? Yes. Um, um, my? And, and mine, obviously, right? Okay. Oh, and by the way, for animals do not exist, okay? Okay. Okay. Let's see, Mr. Caleb. Number seven, let's see. Uh, I take my vitamins at 7 a.m. Mm. His vitamins takes at 8 a.m. Mm. I mm. take my vitamins at 7 a.m. Mm -hmm. Te, tendrías que sustituir his vitamins. My father. My father. My father what? Takes, takes yeah. His 
at 8 a.m. Oh, okay. Right? Yes. Las suyas, sin mencionar qué. Pero de qué estamos hablando, right? Uh -huh. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. Now, it's this is confusing actually because it's similar to the other one, right? Okay. Let's see, Nayeli, number eight. What are we repeating? Uh, cheers. Shirts, exactly. Uh huh. Hairs. 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 Hairs are boring. Can you read everything, please? Uh, your children are very good. Hairs are boring. Okay, you got it. Mm -hmm. Jose, finish, please, the exercise. Um, can I drive your car? Uh, hours. Excellent. Hours doesn't work. Yep. Can I drive, can I drive your car? Hours. Does this is this work. is representing what? Our car. Yep. Doesn't work. All right. Este es un tema confuso, chicos, pero eh, muy confuso por, por, por la clase de ayer, ¿no? Que son casi igualitos. ¿Sí? All right, but practice is going to help you a lot. Okay. Can you help me, Mr. Caleb, with the instructions, please? Uh, fill in the blank space with possessive pronouns. All right. Same situation. Try to go with the flow, okay? Fluye. Fluye, Caleb. Fluye. Number one. Uh, those are my books. <laughs> those books are... Theirs. Okay. Es como un juego de mm -hmm. palabras, ¿eh? Es como Mine. un juego de palabras. Mine. ¿Cómo sería? Esos son mis libros, right? Esos son mis libros. Y ahora, esos libros son... Míos. Míos. ¿Ya? Yeah? Ok, let's see. Can you try number two, José? Same situation. It's, we are playing with the word. This house is my mother's house. This house is hers. Hers, because it's my mother's. Very good. Let's see, Nayeli. Number three. Nayeli, siempre te tocan las más difíciles. Yes, sir. Ajá. No sé por qué. I'm sorry. Number four. Give me number four. I'll help you with number three in a minute. <laughs> Poverty. You have three? If you have three, give me three. I know. <laughs> um, this color is my dog. Collar. Collar. It is. Um, Este es diferente, ¿verdad? ¿Qué, ¿Por qué está diferente este que el, que el anterior? Porque es it. Porque oh. es it. Porque es it. Y como es it, ¿no? No, puede, no, ten, no tenemos aquí, ¿no? No. Tendría que ser, este collar es, de, es el collar de mi perro, ¿sí? Este collar es el collar de mi perro. Aquí lo tenemos. Correcto. Ahora no existe el. ¿Cómo sería? 
si dices es de ella o es mío, es de eso, no existe pues. ¿No? O sea, no puedes decir es, es el, ese collar es de eso. Por eso no tenemos esto, ¿no? Entonces dices, ese collar, aquí dice, es, este collar es el collar de mi perro. Es su collar. You, yours? In no? this case is its. Con ese it's... sí existe. Con ese sí existe. Que es el pasado, ¿te acuerdas? Su collar de eso. Oh, ok. Yeah. But look at this one. After mine, we don't have anything. After hers, we don't have anything. Pero after it, sí tenemos collar. Okay. Porque okay. ahí es su collar. No, no de eso. No existe. Ok, ok. All right, Nayeli, sorry for number three. <laughs> I will give you an easy next time, I promise, okay? Jose, number four. Uh, the pancake is my sister's pancake. It is hers. Excellent, yeah. Caleb. My parents have a new, a new house. It is my parents have a new house. It is the quién es? Uh, theirs. Theirs, you got it. Man. It is theirs. De ellos. All right, Nayeli, look at this one, number six. It's easy. <laughs> the planets, Nayeli, the planets <laughs> confabulated for you today. I have an idea that I is mine. Excellent. Very good, Nayeli. <laughs> mine. There you go. Oh, six. <laughs> Oh, this is Tegon or dog. This dog is ours. This dog is ours. Caleb, <laughs> thank you, man. This ring is your ring. Drink. It is mine. But it's your, your drink. Yours. Oh. Um, is yours exactly? Now, Jelly number nine. Uh, these are my friend address, address, uh, addresses. Addresses? Addresses. Addresses. These yeah. addresses are are theirs. Perfect. Theirs of who of my friends. De ellos, right? Very good. Jose, number 10. Mm, we have a problem, and that problem, problem is only ours. Ours. We have a problem, and that problem is only ours. Nice. Questions right now, guys? Now let's continue with more practice. We have a listening, okay? In this listening, mm -hmm. are you familiar with this word? Do you know what that means? Owner? Mm -hmm. Owner? No, I don't maybe, remember. Maybe you remember this one. Possessor. Yeah. For example, if I say Rainer's house, right? 
The, the house of Rainer, right? Okay. The possessor. Who is the possessor? Rainer, correct? Yes. So, Rainer is the owner. The owner. El dueño. Okay. Okie dokie. The owner. You can say, for example, the owner of the business the owner of the business is uh, Carlos Slim. Okay, the okay. owner. So, we have objects in here. Chairs, speaker, lighter, lighter, right? A guitar, grill, like for the hamburgers, cards, it's easy. Big table, microphone. Knife, you understand knife? Knife, yes. And leftovers? No. Leftovers, okay. Leftovers, Nayeli? No? Okay. Leftovers, imagine, imagine you cook pasta tonight, right? But you cook a lot of pasta, too much pasta, right? Okay, so the leftovers go in a container for the refrigerator. Okay, and tomorrow, maybe you eat, maybe you eat leftovers tomorrow. Usually we say the buffet on Fridays. You know? So those are the leftovers. Okay, dokie. So we have objects in here. In this part, you need to give me the owner, the name of the owner. Okay, okay. Yes, Nayeli? The name of the owner. Yes, Jose? Okay, so let's see. The owner of the object. Da -da -da -da. Shit. Second, okay. Uno momento, por favor. Step number ten. Sorry, my internet is very slow. Oh my God. ¿En qué bloque estamos? Lo ando buscando en el 10. ¿Qué bloque es este? Oh my God. Siete. Seven, right? Ah. Oh. <laughs> my goodness, Ray. Like, oh, oh, perdí el audio. Yo pensé que lo había perdido. Number seven. Oh. 
Okay, ready. Ready, Caleb? Ready, Nayeli? Yes. 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 Okay, here we go. The owner, okay? The person, the owner. Here we go. True English Academy Listening Program. Step number seven. The owner of the object. Exercise four. Instructions. Listen to the eight sentences being read. Write the owner of the object on the corresponding empty boxes. Listen again and write down the sentence. Number one. Ah, aquí va a ser el problema si no tienen libro. ¿Verdad? ¿Tienen libro? No. Nayeli, Nayeli, yes, but... A ver, pues, tómenle una foto porque van a ocupar... Take a picture, take a picture. <clears throat> okay. Ready, Caleb? You took a picture? <laughs> Thank you. The only responsible student, Nayeli. The only responsible student. Here we go. Okay. Number Listen one. again and write down the sentence. Number one. Hello. Those are my cards. <laughs> my name is Ron. My name is Ron. Number two. I am Sophia and those chairs are mine. Number two. I am Sophia and those chairs are mine. Number three. You got it, Jose? One more time? Yes, please. Okay, here we go. Are mine. Number two. I am Sophia and those chairs are mine. Number three. That is Serena's microphone. It is hers. Serena's. Se Serena. Serena. That is Serena. Serena's. Here we go. Listen. Number three. That is Serena's microphone. It is hers. Number four. That big table belongs to Amy. It is hers. Number four. That big table belongs to Amy. It is hers. Number five. That is Christina's lighter. It is hers. Number five. That is Christina's lighter. It is hers. Number six. My name is David. That guitar? Yes. It's mine. Seven. Number seven. That is Sarah and Hugo's grill. It is theirs. It's two persons, okay? Listen. Number seven. That is Sarah and Hugo's grill. It is theirs. Sarah and Peter. What is the name of the man? Listen. That number seven. That is Sarah and Hugo's grill. It is. 
Where's the name? You got it. ¿Cómo suena? That is Sarah and Hugo's grill. It is theirs. Hugo's. Hugo's? Hugo's. Hugo. Hugo's. Hugo's. Como apostrophe S for Hugo, right? Seven. That is Sarah and Hugo's grill. It is theirs. <laughs> Number eight. The knife in your hands is mine. I am Tony. Nice to meet you. You got it? Yep. Okay. Two are extra, I think. Two are extra. Which ones? The leftovers and what else? The speaker. <coughs> and the speaker. Yep. All right. Let's see. Check your answers. Yeah. All good, Mr. Jose? Yes. Ka Caleb, all good? Very good, man. <clears throat> uh, no. Um... One mistake. Which one? Um, and the ultimate. Tony. Yes. All right. Nayeli, how was it? My back hurts. <laughs> how many? I don't know. I think she's busy. Okay. Let's continue. Listen, we are going to write the complete sentence now. Okay? This is a big challenge. Okie dokie. Don't copy. Don't copy. Mm. Pongan, aquí es donde ya implica, por ejemplo, eh, Cristina's, Jose's, you know? Or my house, her house, or theirs, yours. Everything is combined. Okie doke. So be careful. Here we go. Number one, here we go, guys. Down the sentence. Number one. Hello. Those are my cards. My name is Ron. One more time. Those are my cards. Write down the sentence. Number one. Hello. Those are my cards. My name is Ron. Number one. Hello. Those are my cards. My name is Ron. Got it? Number two. I am Sophia and those chairs are mine. I am Sophia and those chairs are mine. Number two. I am Sophia and those chairs are mine. You got it? Number three. That is Serena's microphone. 
It is hers. Number 3. That is Serena's microphone. It is hers. Number 3. That is Serena's microphone. It is hers. That it? Number 4. That big table belongs to Amy. It is hers. We have a new verb. Belongs. Belongs. That big table belongs to Amy. It is hers. Belongs. Pertenece a. Belongs. Here we go. Number four. That big table belongs to Amy. It is hers. Number five. That is Christina's lighter. It is hers. Stina's lighter. Number 5. That is Christina's lighter. It is hers. Number 6. My name is David. That guitar? Yes. It's mine. Number 6. My name is David. That guitar? Yes. It's mine. There is a question, right? That guitar? It's a question. That guitar? Number six. My name is David. That guitar? Yes. It's mine. Got it. That is Sarah and Hugo's. Number seven. That is Sarah and Hugo's grill. It is theirs. Number seven. That is Sarah and Hugo's grill. It is theirs. Num I I think your hands. Number 8. The knife in your hands is mine. I am Tony, nice to meet you. Number 8. The knife in your hands is mine. I am Tony, nice to meet you. Got it? I am Tony, nice to meet you. Okay. Do you need to repeat another one? The number eight. Number eight. Okay, here we go. Number eight. The knife in your hands is mine. I am Tony. Nice to meet you. Got it, Nayeli? Yes. Yeah. Perfect. All right, let's see. Let's check it out. <laughs> Okay. Big challenge, guys.
Finish. Jose, how was it? Good? Good. <clears throat> Perfect. Yes. Nice, man. Caleb? Uh, two. Two mistakes. Three mistakes? Two. Where, mister? Uh, in... In the, in the ultimate and in the in the quinta number five lighter no eh, no le puse la S curse okay and you Nayeli how was it uh four and be long be long okay it's a new word. Pertenece. Okay? Pertenecer. I belong, I belong to this family. Make sense? I belong to the soccer team. I belong to the soccer team with the blue uniform. Yeah? Okay. Very good. Let's see. <coughs> Uh, okay, I don't know. Ah, okay, let's go back to, let's go back in your book. Go, oh, you don't have the book. Ah. Nayeli, Nayeli, go back in your book, please. <laughs> All right. We are going to practice some vocabulary, okay? Remember, remember the exercise that we did with the apostrophe S? Yeah? Okay, let's do that for wife. Like who is, oh, yeah, who is the wife, okay. you know? Yeah. Who is my yes. wife? I'm sorry. Tell me, mister. My wife is... Uh, mother of my son. Yeah, but... I don't remember, uh, you, you, you don't remember? I, it sounds... Uh, I don't remember. Yeah, my son's, you remember, Caleb? My son's mother? Yeah, my son's mother. Okay. Mi esposa es la mamá de mi hijo. Yes, right? Yes. Nice, okay. Husband. Esposo. It's the same, but switch. Switch it. Do it. My husband. My husband is. Mm, my. It can be. It can be different. It can be. My. My husband is. My. Daughter's. Sons. My dad. Of my, what do you say? Is the the same question of yesterday? Uh, suegro. Okay. Suegro. Father in law. Father in law. You share your microphone. Oh. Okay, my husband yes. is my father-in-law's father son. My father-in-law's my... apostrophe yes. son, son, of course. Makes sense, Caleb. Suegro, right? Father-in-law. Suegro. Mi esposo. Mi... Es el hijo de mi suegro, of course. 23. Sister-in-law. What is this? Cuñada. 
Cuñada. Cuñada. Cuñada. Okay. Caleb, you have it? Who is my sister in law? My sister in law. It's my wife's sisters. Is my oh. wife's yeah. Is my wife's sister. Sister. La hermana de mi esposa, right, Caleb? Sister in law. Brother in law. Same situation, but change it, okay? Don't tell me like that. This is cuñado. Mm -hmm. My brother in law. My brother in law is. Ni... Ni is okay. Mi cuñado es mi okay. My brother in law is nephew's father or not? El papá de mis so, so, um, sobrinos. El papá de mis sobrinos. Papá? Yeah, it's possible. <coughs> My brother-in-law is my, my nephew's father. Father. Sí. Mi cuñado es el papá de mi sobrino. Yes, of course. Very good, Jose. Analytic. Father-in-law. This is what we were saying. Yes. What is this? <coughs> Suegro. Suegro. Caleb, My... you try. You try, Caleb. Sorry, mister. Uh, father, my father-in-law is my brother's Jose esposo. Husband. Husband. Mm -hmm. oh, no. Ajá, no. My father in law. No, no brothers. O sea, mi 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 suegro. ¿Quién es tu suegro? El papá de quién? Uh -huh. <laughs> Yeah, Is my wife. maybe my my girlfriend, maybe my wife or my wife, my right? Wife. My wife's what? Mm. Father, father, father. Yeah, the father of my girlfriend. It's my swagger in this case. Okay. All right. We have some more vocabulary. For example, date. Ya, los de la familia ya se acabaron, okay? But we have vocabulary. You know what a date is? A cita? Yeah. Give me a sentence. Using date. Uh, I have a date with my girlfriend. When? Uh, I have a date on Friday's night. Okay. I have a date with my girlfriend on Friday night. night. Date. Fiance. Fiance. My fiance. Look at this one. Prometida o prometido. My fiance. My fiance. My fiance. Es una palabra francesa, ¿ok? Por eso tiene acento. 
my fiance. Give me a sentence. Uh, my fiance, fiance. My fiance, my fiance. Um, I don't know. It's very pretty. It's very pretty. Yeah. My fiance is very pretty. My fiance is very rich. <laughs> oh. Right? Please. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Expression get drunk. Borracho. Borracho. Get drunk. I usually get, get drunk, drunk on Fridays. I usually get drunk on Fridays. Or or weekends. On weekends. Or on weekends. On weekends. Of course, yeah. To be wasted. When you say to be, you say I am. I am wasted. wasted. She is wasted. Okay. Wasted is more than drunk. You know? This is drunk. But wasted destroyed. Okay? Okay. Yeah? So it's like, I'm sorry. I'm wasted. See you tomorrow. <laughs> you see? <laughs> okay. Uh, wasted. Hangover. Over. Okay. The uh, sun... Sundays in the morning. Yeah, the next day. The next day of what? Of the drink. Of the drink, okay. being wasted. You are wasted and the next morning, hangover. Yes, Caleb? Ooh. Yeah, remember the movie, The Hangover. Expression, yeah. split up. Split up. Separate. Mm. Split up. Okay. My mom and my... Tell me, mister. Uh, we split up because... Um, we don't know. I don't even... Yeah, 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 yeah. Because we don't love each other. O sea, cuando pones este Caleb, each other, es nos amamos a nosotros mismos, you know? Nos amamos entre tú y yo. Por ejemplo, si yo dijera, eh, kiss each other, ¿qué estaría diciendo? Kiss each other. Beso entre nosotros. Nos besamos. Right? So, cuando, cuando ponen el each other, después de un verbo, Tell me, Jose. No, is it question yes. of each yes. other? Go ahead. Mm. We kiss each other. Nos besamos. It's a Ejemplo. nice, a nice sentence. <laughs> it's a nice sentence. Yeah, <laughs> we kiss each other. We um we saw or oh, we see each other. No, wait a minute. We see each other. We see each other every Saturday. ¿Qué dice ahí? Nosotros nos vemos. Nos, nos vemos. Okay, entonces el each other va a ser después de qué? De un verbo. Y representa entre tú y yo, ¿no? Estoy hablando con alguien. Quiero que... We love each other. Nos amamos. ¿Ya? Yeah. Okay. We, we kill each other. Nos matamos. It's possible. <laughs> split up. Okay. So look at this one. We split up because we don't love each other. Porque no nos amamos. X, very easy, come on. 
the, maybe for you, Jose, you have experience on this. Caleb? <laughs> Caleb, I don't know. Caleb, you have experience on this? <laughs> I have experience. I hate my ex. I hate my ex. There yes. you go. Do you know hate, mister? Yes, you do. Hater. <laughs> so look at that look at the story guys okay look you get drunk uh, you get wasted eh? yes right? it's the story of the relationship yeah it's the story right you get drunk you get wasted you have a hangover you have a fight and you split and then you have an ex, right? And then you stuck. stuck. Um, I usually stuck. Who? Here. Her, exactly. I usually stuck her where? Who say Quente? Quente. Quente. Quente account. Account. In what account? Uh, Instagram. Okay. I usually stock her on Instagram account. En la cuenta de Instagram, right? Stalker. And then, eh, volvemos. we get back together. We get back together. And then, Casarnos. O casados. You, you get married. And then, what is next? A child. <laughs> I don't know, man. Oh, stick together. It's another expression. Se quedan juntos. Stick together. Right? Stick together. And then they divorce. Okay? And then they settle down. This is an expression. What is settle down? Do you know? No. <laughs> In, in Spanish, we say something about la cabeza. Sit down. Sit down. Mm. Sit. Sit down. La cabeza. No more parties. Oh. Settle down. What is the expression about la cabeza? Come on, you are not Mexicans? Oh my goodness. Sentar cabeza, settle down. Right? Settle down. And speak, whatever, and take after. Take after, this is like similar to a person. For example, look at this. Similar persons. It you know Ooh. for example in this case you can say i take after o sea me parezco i take after my dad yeah take after you take after your father or your mother jose my mother you take after your mother and you Caleb, you take after a family member? Mm, mother. You take after your mother, yeah? I take after my mother, too. Okay. All right, chicos, ¿cómo está? Ya terminamos esto. Eh, mañana continuamos el último tema. Mañana terminamos con el libro número siete. Okay. Eh, les voy a hacer claros. Si el libro no lo imprimen, se van, a van a estarse afectando. ¿Ok? Eh, imprímanlo, porque 
es parte, del, es parte de la metodología estar escribiendo. Porque la, acuérdense, los músculos tienen memoria y si ustedes escriben, conectan con, la, con el cerebro, con la pronunciación. ¿Sí me explico? Entonces, eh, para el lunes... Eh, Creo que ya lo tienen el libro, tienen el les mandé el 7 y el 8. Ya lo ¿Dos? tienen ahí. Sí, les mandé 7 y 8. Para ¿Juntos? que ajá. Para que lo impriman sale. Okay. See you tomorrow. Have a great night. Bye. Bye bye.